Good day, CarPG Cravers! I'm on Silent and we're on the air with a new classic game on the channel. Well, your definition of classic and my definition of classic might differ a little bit. Because if you've never heard of this game, well, that's understandable. Because originally developed and published in 1999 by Squaresoft, this here particular high-speed driving RPG, as they call it, CarPG, a portmanteau of car racing game and Japanese RPG, as I call it. You see, it was only ever released in Japan, in Japanese, on the PlayStation 1, never got an English translation until last year, when last fall, a fan group released a Japanese, or I guess Japanese to English, translation mod that you could apply to a version of this disc. And so that way now the Western world, outside of the Japanese speaking public, are able to experience for the first time this cult classic. Not a critic classic, that's for sure. Not a It's Racing Lagoon. The high-speed driving RPG, as they said. So I took a look at uh, the options menu. Even though it's got the sort of classic... You know, if you've played Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 1, you'll know, like, Circle is the Accept button, and it's on, in the West that, you know, X is the Go button. But driving is still, you know, driving controls. So it's still, you know, X to go and square to break. And uh, circle was side brake, which I assume is is the is the um, handbrake. But let's get cracking. I don't see you can continue. There ain't nothing there. It's gonna. I like the menu music. It. I was trying to read it. I just want to. Uh, Prove I've not opened this other than looking at the... at the menu. It's a new game. Some games won't won't even kick that to you. Off the hop. So we'll just create one in slot one. Slot one has... yeah, create a new save file. Slot one is, is my, uh... My Tomb Raider versus Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider PS1 save. So we'll start at Prologue Night. Oh, it's the, that's the nice Prologue Night. Info game start playtime. Zeros across the board. Matrix E. Entry name system and login password. So we are show. I mean, I guess I could put in Steve, but we're going to go proper for the game. So we'll go show Akasaki. I hope I said that right. We'll probably just stick with show for the most part. Age 18. Haven't been there in a while. <laughs> and we are exiting the system. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblances to real persons or organizations are purely coincidental. Of course. Yokohama. I assume that's how it's finishing. 1999. Round. It's taking its, it's, it's, taking its time. Round midnight. Oh, so it's taking place at around midnight. Revival of Yokohama's Fastest Legend. You gotta say that loud. Legend, because it's all caps. High Speed Driving RPG. Just in case you've forgotten, it's still Racing Lagoon. The city that forgot what sleep is 
Neo Seaside City Bay Lagoon. Ten years ago, one man was known as the fastest in all of Yokohama. Okay, that's how they're doing the translations in Japanese, and then they add the translation. The only man to drive full throttle in fifth gear around the third Kahin's Tama River corner. Everyone who witnessed his races told the same story. That guy's a crazy driver. But that's enough fairy tales. I was wondering how they were going to do the translation in the cutscenes. Our own story is just getting started. And so they do it inside the... They have the original Japanese there, and then they add the translation on top. Apparently some of the trick... Listen, what do you hear? The night is singing for us. Tonight is ours. They're late. Those cocky punks. I'm sick of waiting. Get your asses over here, Bay Lagoon Racing. Time's up, Icky. Is that Icky? Oh, it was a backfire. It was like, oh god, we're... It's, it's just shooting and gangs and shit like that. Well, there's the street racing gangs, obviously. Kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip is this fella. Is this icky? Or is it us? Or is that icky? And... Oh, that one finished on, on that one, so I'm guessing that's us? Prologue Night Crimson Moon. Sort of a... Oh, I thought that was fading. It's not. Oh, do I have to push? Okay, I have to push the, the go button to get through. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if that was just going to fade because everything else is kind of going at its own pace without me. Gotta say, I'm not feeling too lucky about tonight. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Wait, wrong franchise. Yeah, why is that? Oh, that's me. Okay. So I'm the... I'm in the vest. And I've got some kid tag tagging along. This ain't exactly the type of night for a debut. Genzo, throw me a bone. What are you on about? Have you been living under a rock, my man? Dude, help me out here. <laughs> this game, apparently, one of the reasons why it took 22 years to get the translation from Japanese to English is apparently it's got some interesting linguistics to it. Interesting turns of phrase and... You see, the thing about tonight... Blood Moon? Therefore, blood will be spilled tonight? Is that the legend is about to be reborn? Whoa, trippy. Everybody know the rules? Same stakes as usual. Yo, Icky. Let's see who deserves to call themselves Yokohama's fastest legend. Oh, so it's not like the legend's coming out of retirement. It's they're gonna crown, crown a new guy as the legend of Yokohama. It's BLR versus Night Racers. Icky versus Akira. Time to settle it. It's Keske. I don't give two shits about your undefeated record. You're handing over that title, got it? You're finito, muchacho. Unique linguistic styles. Are you clowns done talking trash? Let's get this thing over with. We aren't here to show off. You can practice your insults on your own time. Well, everyone's... Kind of walking back to their cars. Don't let them get in your head, show. Just focus on the race. Feel it out. And throw a lot of characters at you at first. You see Keske Ishikawa's G-R-A-S-I over there? 
We're looting that bad boy. Looting? Looting? Yeah, looting! He's our rival for tonight. Rival? Mind filling me in on what any of this means? Thank you, because there's no instruction manual in English. So, I'm just kind of winging it. If you beat your rival, you get to snatch one of their parts. We race for keeps out here. So if you come out on top, you get rewards. Oh, so we don't race for pinks, we race for parts. Rich Christensen would be disappointed. I guess uh, there's no worrying about if you lose the race, you lose your ride. Some old speed channel references there. Get rewards. It's high stakes out here. Keep that dude over there. He's Keske. He's our mark. If we beat him, we get dibs on his parts. So what, a... Uh, Brighthorn Chintagros looking gimmick? That's hard to tell. You, you can only see, like, the, the ass end of his car. Someone call Brewer. He's got a wing. Get that ass end of the car in the ground. Try and stay ahead of him, capiche? I'm starting to get the picture. So is, like, Kenzo my little buddy, or is he my mechanic, or... The legend will be reborn. What a load of crap. None of this makes a lick of sense. <laughs> it's self-aware. <laughs> Seems to me like we're just out here having a race. Well, I only showed up to kill some time. These guys take this shit way too seriously. What am I driving? Like a sprinter in AE86 type gimmick? So I'm getting in the white car there. Now it's Bay Lagoon short two laps. Blow past Keske and his Night Orange GRA SI. We're starting Stone Dead. Oh, we've got two loading screens. We've got I guess we got the splash screen and now we got the load screen. Which I guess gives us a track preview. So we can take a gander. Left. That left looks sharp-ish. Opens up into a double right. Now that right's just past 90 degrees. That one you'd have to hold up for, but let's see if we can spot. Actually, I think it's at the top of the map. Just wind it up. Lights out and away we go. It's almost like we're sliding rather than driving off the start. So we'll get some speed up. We've got a oh, easy right coming up here. Nope. Oh, I let off the throttle too much. And this is the double left into the sharp right. No, that's the sharp right. Little skiddy there. It feels a little floaty. Oh, we're going to get past the Civic. I think it's a Civic. I assume this is an easy right. It's a little floaty, a little hard to get used to off the hop. I'm... I was not that I'm expecting Gran Turismo or anything, but there's the there's Keske. Oh, I think I'm on my second lap. Gets a little drifty as well. There's there he is. No, this one's... There he is. Let's see if we can... Oh! Cut me off. Blocked me. So I lost a lot of momentum there. I like how we got lights and everything lighting up the... Like, my lights work and his... I can see his... I don't think I'm going to get him, but I'm going to be close, unless I could stick it up the inside. No. Ah, bastard. 
So I have to try again? Yeah, if I didn't hit him coming onto the long straight and give him a shot and kill my own momentum, I would have done a lot better, but I can't believe it. My hands are shaking and I'm sweating all over the wheel. The only thing that mattered in the moment was reaching the finish line. Oh, so I was... I guess I never had, really had a ch chance. Gotta roll down the windows and let the air in. It feels like I'm roasting alive in here. And I can hear the hush of the wind and the hum of the engine and Nikki's excited voice all mixing together. Everyone's words are blending together into the inscrutable din. I thought you'd be able to skip like this is clearly a replay, but... I like how there's a replay system. Oh, there's no, uh... There's no skip on the, on the replay. Yeah, it's a little tricky just to get... I, I'm just, just trying to... It's a little floaty. It doesn't feel like you're really in the road. Did you hear the winner is Siki Fujisawa from Bay Lagoon Racing? What? How did Kira do? Why'd the night racers lose? And the undefeated record stands. Legendary. He might even be faster than the record holder from 10 years ago. I was going to say, you see, he's got a... Uh, Iki Fujisawa Yakahama's very own legend. Uh, I was gonna say fast, whatever. I was looking at at Iki's car. It was a skyline. Voices in the glory of the night regale us with the birth of a new legend. Melt away into the hot wind. I was gonna say there's a lot of stuff happening, so I can't. Uh, Oh, there's, there's your RPG bit. I got one out of three XP on engine, chassis, and body. Assume engine's power, chassis is handling, and body is... Arrow? Maybe? I assume as, you, as all go three go up, it'll get faster. I keep hearing that tonight the legend has been reborn. Everyone's obsessed with it. Hell, maybe I am too. I guess I ought to take this shit more seriously. Not that the game itself tries to take itself seriously, but that's the fun of it. I never once caught up to Icky in the race. I didn't even catch a glimpse of his taillights. And he's got a skyline and I've got like a... 10 year old shitbox. I was barely holding myself together out there. Kenzo was right. That was one hell of a first night. So they expected you to get your ass kicked. Okay, that's good. The night is completed. Good to know. Oh, so you complete the night you get to save. That was the slot we, we put the save on, right? Okay. Oh yeah, no, no, it's it, it is an A eighty six. All right, I was right. Not not well, an unlicensed one, but yes. First night, midnight, plus one. So 12.01 or... One in the morning or... Well, we'll find out, won't we? I craved an answer. I wanted to know. What had me so shook up last night? Did I just get caught up in the excitement? I had to go back there. I had to see it again to know for sure. 
But it's all gone. The cars, the crowds. It's like they disappeared into the night. Well, I came to chill and ain't nobody there. Was it all a crazy dream? Now, did it say I was part of... Uh, now nah, I remember too well the manic headlights, the roar of the engines. Now, was I part of Bay Lagoon Racing? Because they had the, everyone had identifiers next to them. Somebody want to pick up the phone? Yo, yo! Hey, show! Psst, I'm in a tough spot. You got to help me out here. I see you there. I know you run with Team BLR. Okay, I am with Team Bay Lagoon Racing. It was on the side of the car at the start of the, the gimmick. Of the of the opening cutscene. Don't try to hide from me, jackass. I think it was also on... I'm in the Foreigner Graveyard in South Yoko. Give me a hand ASAP. Do I get to drive over or... Foreigner Graveyard? Do we have one of those around here? Now, is it a graveyard for foreigner cars, or is it a graveyard for foreigners... people? I'm useless with this thing. I just throw it in the river. I can never remember phone numbers, and figuring out the speed dial is beyond me. This is hitting too close to home. Uh-oh. What are you mumbling yourself for? Uh-oh, it's Keske showing up. You hiding something? Where's Icky? Spill the beans, bucko! These assholes. As if I tell you- Oh, I can- I can- I can pick. As if I tell you. Piss off, you think I tell you two jagoffs? <laughs> Ooh, we got a wise guy here. Better drop the attitude. Oh. Buddy is Shinsuke. You gonna meet with Icky, weren't ya? The night racers just wanna have a little chat with him. Isn't this a dude we completely thrashed? Yeah, I remember this loser. Get some nicer parts for the next time you lose to me, eh? Keske, it's showtime. Let's go. Uh, psh, good luck. You didn't need that with that tin can you drive. These guys could bark all day. Two total losers who get high off the attention. Kept thinking about last night. It was like nothing I'd ever experienced. I need to go back and feel it again. If I have to fend off idiots like them to survive in the street racing scene, so be it. It's like I'm finally where I was meant to be. But why? I wanted an answer. It's a racing game and a journey of self-actualization. This brand new feeling. I want to know what it really means. We're going to, uh... Oh, there they go. South Yokohama, our home, our street. So is it gonna open world up a bit, or...? This town comes alive at night. Oh, they drive on the other side of the road, okay. That's important to know. And our driving brings the heat. Well, I guess it's only important to know if I have to, you know, open world drive and shit, but... And that's what Icky said to me when he asked me to join the team. Now it's Bay Lagoon's racing motto. And if you stick around long enough... To find out just how hot it can get.
Oh, I can park with the... Oh, trippy. Speeding bullets flashing their high beams intent to battle. Oh, I have to... Yeah, okay. Out on the streets, racers lusting for rewards hit you with their high beams. When the hungry hyena marks you for battle, there's no escape. I had nothing against you, but the night racers wanted me to keep you busy. And it's probably none of my business, but... Cascade was fighting with a BLR chick by the Ferris wheel at the edge of town. You should probably go down there and check it out. A BLR chick? Yuka Suzuki? The Ferris wheel at the edge of town? The Cosmic Big Wheel? And Ken's was at the Foreigner Graveyard. What the hell's going on? And since I'm so nice, here's a tip. You can save your game at a gas station at the gas station by Marine Tower. So this is this game's version of random encounters. Okay, so I should have a good advantage over I'm not sure what the uh Who Warrior Unknown his star S is, but at least we know the track. So. Oh, uh, he got off the line a little better than me. He had the inside line for T1. Let's see if I can can't cut up under him. There, alright. So we got into P1. Just a kiss of the armco. Did scrub a bit of speed off. Uh, that's view. Oh no, views on the. How do I look back? Oh, that's it. My my. I've got front bumper cam and I got that. So I got no rear view. Man, I didn't need to hit the brake there, but it may have settled going into the turn. Whoa, I got way close to the inside there. Oh, that was it. One lap and I won. All right. Whoop that joker's ass. So I got a thousand reward points. And I got another XP for my car. Oh, I can... No, so I can... I can steal his whole engine. I can steal the whole body. I can steal some paint. Okay, interesting. A steering wheel. I can get a low range GCU. What's item box? Okay, I don't quite get any of that. Huh. I'd like a I'd like a little bit more grip, but I don't know if the tires are any better than what I got now. That's my problem, right? Because I'd like to see a comparison that doesn't give me... I don't think 250 grams for savings of unsprung weight is really going to do a lot for me. I don't know if any turning speed increase is going to help, but maybe I just take the, uh, I take the tires for now. Oh, it doesn't let me look at any of this, sir. Oh, so I've got... 
So this is what I got. So an outdated nav system. I've got suspension and some dampening. I've got I already got alloy rims. What do we got here? We got uh, a box air filter, increases efficiency, and a and a mid RPM muffler. And I've got white and black body paint. I've got uh, a GT Aero kit that adds some front downforce, and a BLR racing decal. That would have been helpful before I picked apart. Okay, no, can't park there. It's Rolling Stone Street. Baystar Street. Oh, there's a... Anybody know where the hell I'm supposed to be going? That'd be problematic with this game. Oh, here comes a dude trying to random encounter me. And he random encountered me. Oh, it's the same sort of vehicle. Oh, but we're at Big Wheel Street. Which which might be good because now at least we know where we're at. Okay, so this is just a straight shot here. Now he'll have the inside line through the easy right left. Oh no, it's just easy right. Didn't want to hit that, but just trying to find the grip level on this thing. Can I get better brakes on this piece of shit? <laughs> Feel like I don't have much in the way of brakes. Oh, that's it. That was fast. I was I was looking for the the apex on the on the left there. Now we leveled up our uh, engine chassis and body, and got a thousand reward points for our trouble. So we can get some red paint. And we stole the tires the last time, right? I'll just steal the... ...steering wheel. Good luck going anywhere, dickhead! We've got your steering wheel. Now so we get to add some shit on here. Okay. So I can add... Okay, so with as you level up your car... We can... Okay, I get it. We, as we level up the car, we can add more bits to it. Okay. I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. It's Toon Shop Spencer. Okay, and if I just push, then it... Okay. It's home turf for Team BLR. Okay, so I've ended up in friendly territory. Some rich guy waltzed in and built it along with the only racetrack in Yokohama, purely for sport. Hella convenient to tune up your car and take it across the street for a test drive. Yoji sure was stoked about it. Rumor has it that the manager here has a 10-year history in street racing. 
Hmm. Ten years, huh? Josh Drop whenever he recounts the tale of his machine gun torque. So he claims. He's a friendly guy and all. Just don't ask him for a discount. Noted. Yeah, give me a tuning tutorial fast. It's not going to be fast. What's up, fellas? Welcome to the tuning tutorial. I'm BLR leader Iki Fujisawa. This tutorial, in this tutorial, a person teach you how to complete uh, the, mas m the basics of. Sorry, I'm looking at machine complete there. I'm like, what? Show you listening. I know long le lectures aren't really your thing. No, they aren't. I'm gonna be asking questions though. So make sure you pay attention. If you get bored, you can always press start and scene skip out of here. To become the fastest, you gotta learn the ins and outs of each race course. But your driving skill alone can only take you so far. Master racers know that you ha ha know how to tune their ride for the occasion. Both of these skills are crucial. Makes sense. Machine complete's got three menus. Engine complete, chassis complete, and body complete. The performance of your car depends on all three working in harmony. Improving your car ain't exactly straightforward, but basically, Want speed? Engine complete. Want cornering? Chassis complete. Looking fly? Body complete. It's all up to you, so install parts that suit your style. Note to self, engine, chassis, body. Wait, what's my style? Any, any more info? Just really tune up your engine, the heart and soul of your car. Remember... How you junction magic with your Garden Force of Final Fantasy VIII? Think of parts as increasing your engine stats in the same way. Your favorite GF... My favorite GF is Bahamut, in case you were wondering. I wasn't, but thank you. Cross promotion. Uh-huh. Mine's Tonberry King. Did I ever get Tonberry King in eight? I never got Bahamut. Yeah, my, uh, my, my copy of eight. Had a scratch on like disc three. I'm mean, gonna talk about this in other Final Fantasy LPs, but anyway. Check out the engine unit at the top left of the screen. A few different types of engines exist, but they all rotate your crankshaft at the end of the day. Terms like V6, rotary, and flat describe how the cylinders are arranged and move. This one's an I4. This is in line four. Remember, parts you can use are limited depending on the type of engine. The numbers you want to keep an eye on are max power not the Simpsons character, and Max Torque. Ooh, ooh, question. Why are they important? So I assume this is power to weight ratio? Yeah, power to weight ratio. Estimate how well your car actually performs. It divides your weight by your horsepower. By comparing the two, you can actually gauge how fast you, you actually go. Lower PWR is faster. Wait, was that formula? Fractions, decimals? I didn't know there'd be, des there'd be much math. Those F1 cars that Kenzo drools over can get about 800 kilograms per thousand horsepower, giving them a power weight ratio of uh, 0 0.8 kilos per... I was going to say, I don't know what PS is, but basically it's horsepower. My RS2000 turbo clocks in at 2.5 and a stock CBC 1600, like Kenzo's, is about 6.5. Huh. More PR, uh, PWR faster. I thought it was the other way around. Bingo. I know how to PWR up. Just gotta get parts from solar models like Wagon 660s and move up to the big boys. Hehe, <laughs> I'll be unstoppable. So what's level two? Check out the little slots next to the engine icon. The parts you find and fit into these slots improve your engine's performance. It's like using gear to raise your damage in Final Fantasy or Saga Frontier. Engines have a level and gain XP. After racing enough with an engine, it'll level up. If you level up it'll in an engine, its socket count will increase. The more you use an engine, the faster it'll get. However, level ups can't add sockets to an engine without, that started without any. Some high spec engines have no levels, so they'll never upgrade. Be smart about using them. Once you've chosen a tuning goal, level up an engine that fits your plan. 
I think I get it. Tuning up an engine means fitting it with parts. Some parts improve airtake and exhaust, like air filters and mufflers. Then there's more specialized parts, like ECUs and bore-ups. And who doesn't love installing a turbo? Even a crummy engine can roar if you tune it up just right. Hmm. How many turbos do I need to beat Icky? All of them. Neglecting some aspects of the engine to chase pure power could throw off its balance. But you'll get a feel for that soon, so don't worry. Great advice, but ultimately, race how you want. Okay, I think, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. It's probably not too dissimilar across the board, but I'm sure we can come back. Ah, shit. I wanted gas and I hit that. A tuning tutorial is still there, though. Oops, I crashed into a guy. I was on the wrong side of the road. So who's this dude? Ew, this is not looking good. A lot heavier than me, but he got more power than me. Is uh, I think it was I guess a Sylvia knockoff. So this is the same track we did last time, just in reverse. We got a drift on there. I don't think we'll be able to drift on the next one, though. Ah, shit. I cocked that all up. Dang. Don't know how hard you can push it, so... You lost Ultra Filter. Oh, they really do steal your shit. I honestly have no idea where I'm going. There's a baseball. Oh, somebody ran me over from behind. And someone we got a, a Civic. We got a little advantage over. And Stadium Street. That's our battle course. It's got that interesting roundabout turn there. Two, one, go, go, go! So I've got to get across on him. Because we're coming up to a left. Oh shit, that was tighter than it was on the map. Miss a turn and it makes you pay fast. Man, what the... I cannot figure out the... The brakes on this car suck... Hard. The tires on this one suck hard. Man, I cannot figure this thing out. Oh, vibration's off. How about that? Alright, what else are they going to steal from me? That I can't replace because reasons... No, oh, good. I've lost my exhaust pipe, too. Great.
I really don't like the random encounters in this game. Can I just... Can I get directions to where the hell I'm trying to go? Oh, this is the diner? Johnny's Diner? Johnny's is where the street racers hang. They serve basic ass coffee and basic ass grub. But it's always filled with racers who want to trade stories and shoot the shit. We all speed through the same night. It's the only thing that binds us. Things have a habit of working themselves out if you drop by. The warmth of this place gets through to you even after the coffee has gone cold. Johnny's. It's a bit of magic here. Welcome to Johnny's. Hey, you're the new guy in Bay Lagoon Racing, right? I keep hearing that last night's race was sensational. This place has been buzzing about it all night. Look, I need to know if you've seen any night racers here tonight. Oh, you need to relax. The only night boy who's been here is Makoto. But he left pretty quick. Because it's that one girl's day off, you know? They're not here. Okay. Uh, but huh? Hey! Jeez, what'd you come here for anyway? Okay, apparently I've offended her. Of course I got run over from behind. Well, an Avenue Z. Like a, a legacy wagon. Oh, this one again. Shit. So every turn is tighter than you expect it to. So slow is going to be fast around here. I think he took that a lot deeper than I did. Okay, got through there in one piece. This is tight as well. I managed to hold on my way through here. And win a race. So let's see what parts we can steal off of the legacy then. And the low RPM muffler. Oh, we can... Steal some cash off him. I think I might steal the... That off him. And I was thinking about stealing the tires off him, but... Kind of desperately need some... Parts off him. They stole my engine parts off me. I'm just looking for a, a gas station to save at, but nothing's labeled on the mini map. That's a problem. Where the hell I'm going? I 
He's trying to run me down there. Uh-oh. Help. Now, all right, now who we got? Oh, it's Sylvia again. Oh, shit. Faster than me. A lot more power. A little more weight, but a lot more power. And we're at Big Wheel Street again. We haven't had any luck there. Unfortunately, the low-end torque that we added on has helped a bit. I took it a little slower. I was a little hesitant getting on the gas there. Ah, crap. I just, I have not figured out the handle on this, this shit yet. Alright, what's he gonna steal? Or he isn't. Well, I'm stuck in the fucking corner. Give me a fucking break, video game. Oh, it's a K car. I've broken the fucking game. It's it's like uh I don't know what it stole, if he stole anything from me last time. Yeah, broke loose right at the end there. Figured that one out. Got that figured out now. It's a little hard to figure out where the grip's just going to suddenly break on you. When you're going to go from understeer to snap over steer there. Alright, what get rewards are we going to get? I think we got one of those. Got the tires. You have to. I think I'll steal the tires, though. So we'll just replace the old tires with new ones. Gentle road tires, which give us some grip and handling. There's no way out! I'm stuck! Who builds a game that doesn't have reverse in it, right? So let's see what the new tires will do for me. Oh, 
wish I had a chance to test out anywhere that wasn't. Well, we've held on. Could have gone a little faster, but not too bad. Finally picked up a win over a better, uh, better opponent. No handicap bonus. I'm mildly disappointed, but we got to level up on everything. Air filter, suspension. Again, this is one of those times where you kind of wish you saw what you had. I think I can get... I think that's an upgrade on my current suspension. But you don't know. Oh yeah, just a mild upgrade there. But I'll take an upgrade. One more attempt to get out of that frickin' corner, and if not, I'm just... We're gonna have to start from the last save. No, I'm... I'm totally... I'm totally f***ed here. Well, we had a good run. Alright, but that'll do it for this episode of Racing Lagoon. Next time out, next time out, we will lose most of our progress. But until then, <laughs> I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is Unsilent on Air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more racing action in the playlists there on the screen. In the description down below, more videos in time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.